Hi friends, Pam Shepard with Pamela Shepard Productions here. So today I'm going to be showing you how I made a sewing kit or a needle book, whichever you want to call it. While I was doing my crazy quilting, I realized I needed a little book by my side at the at the sofa when I was watching a, a Christmas movie on TV. So I decided I better make one. And this fabric that I have here is just some jelly rolls that I had sewn together. Just checking it out to see how I liked it. So I thought, why not just use that just as a base for the book. And I wanted my book to be about four inches wide by about four and a half to five inches tall. So that's what I did. I, I went ahead and did eight inches long so that I could fold it over for a book. And then I just decided I wanted a ribbon closure. So I got out a piece of nice satin ribbon and I just sewed it along one of the lines. And I knew that I was going to cover it with lace and all kinds of goodies that I could find around my craft room. I moved all of my sewing off of my dining room table and put it on an antique table that I had in a little room that we called the stairway room because it's a just a nice little sitting area by our stairway. So you can see it's pretty ratty. I started off trying to use it with lace on it, but I needed to get all of that out of the way. But I'm going to show you how I fixed up a nice little sewing room in there uh, on one of the videos right away. It is so fun. And the lighting kept changing. We kept working and changing, and so it'll go changing all kinds of different ways throughout this video. But see, I went ahead and just got out some lace, and I laid my book on top of it. And then I, I'm doing about a quarter inch seam all the way around onto this cotton fabric, uh, those jelly rolls that I had sewn together. And then I'm going to end up using some um, felt because felt works really a lot better for needles and pins than batting does. Batting, it's really hard to get it through then. Okay, so I grabbed a handful of all different kinds of trims and laces, different things that I've purchased all along the ways. Some of these I get at uh, Hobby Lobby and I get them when they're 50% off. I don't have any specific thing in mind. I just get one or two or three or four yards depending on how much it is. And when it's 50% off, it's pretty nice. And then I just keep myself a little stash of all kinds of fun trims. But you can buy trims anywhere. You can buy them at Walmart. You can buy them at Hobby Lobby. You can get them at the Dollar Tree, you can get them at Dollar General, you can get them at Joann's, Michael's, all kinds of places that you can get fun trims to just keep on hand. And I decided to put um, this up above the top and down below. Here's my receipt from Hobby Lobby. And as you can see, I had two, two, and four yards of each of those, and it was half off. It was so fun. I love to get good deals. And I stitched this fabric, or this lace, on the top of the book and on the bottom of the book. And then I took that really wide piece and put it across the center. And you can see I'm just stitching it along the top of that wide trim. And then I'm going to end up stitching it on the center and on the bottom just to hold it in place. This is making a really nice, sturdy front and back of my uh, sewing kit needle book. You can see it's building up a little bit from that cotton fabric and putting my different trims and lace on the front of it. Then I found this uh, lace that I thought was nice just to put down each side to go from top to bottom um, across where the closure is going to be on the front and on the back. I actually think these would make a fabulous Christmas gift and if you don't want to try to make this yourself check out my Etsy store I'm gonna have several on hand for people to purchase this uh, Christmas for their mamas their grandmas the aunties everybody's house needs a sewing kit and it might as well just be something kind of pretty and nice to be able to have at hand anytime you need it 
So here is where I took a piece of felt and I'm cutting it inside all the way around so that it will be the inside of the front and back of the book. And I'm also going to want each of those to have a little pocket. I will be making several different styles of this sewing kit and needle book. I'm going to be making some vintage and some rustic um, and they're going to be really fun. But today we're doing the shabby chic one. And as I'm cutting here, getting this felt completely ready for the um, to stitch down on the um, first layer, which is the front and back of the book. Um, I'll be also getting some trim to put around the edge of that so that it, there it is, some, some really fun trim. Actually, I got this particular trim at the Dollar Tree. I do have uh, in my Amazon store, there's a, a list of a bunch of really fun uh, cotton laces that are, they're uh, cotton trims, trim laces, and they're, they're really nice and quite reasonable and you get several different kinds. Um, it, it's a good deal and it comes pretty fast, so those are fun to order also. I'll have that link down below. I'm getting excited to show you my new little sewing area. I brought down my antique sewing table and I painted it and I'm getting all kinds of decorations on the walls and it's really fun. I think you're going to like it a lot. Okay, as you can see, I got out another couple of sheets of felt and I'm going to make two more pages that go inside of my little sewing kit needle book uh, with the felt which will actually end up making eight pages because there's a page on each side and then I have a, the front page and the very back page that's on the outer edge. So I'm cutting the uh, felt but I'm making it just a little bit smaller because I don't want it to hang out past the book. I want it to stay within the book so I cut those where they would be three and a half inches instead of four inches um, and then for the height I ended up instead of making those four and a half I made those like four inches and just trimmed them up and hold them up there remember when you fold it over to make your pages you'll see that in a minute you're going to fold it over but one the center page is going to end up sticking out a little bit and being too long so you'll have to trim that one off you'll see what I mean when we get to that point When I realized I needed this little sewing kit and needle book, I was uh, working on my little crazy quilt as you go, and I w wanted to hand sew a few things, and I wanted to sit at the couch and watch t my Christmas movie, so I thought, I just need something that has the thread handy, and it has the needles handy, and some scissors, and I can just put it all together, and I don't have to, you know, find a place to put it all, so that's why I ended up making this and oh my gosh I just love it so see I put that trim on the front uh, uh, along the front page there and it ended up making a pocket you see that that wide trim the same thing I put on the outside and it makes a pocket on both sides I'll be sewing everything down the middle to make the book so the front and the back each have pockets it's just is that just adorable and then I wanted to make a fun way to have scissors in there so that I could have a little pair of scissors stuck in there so I just decided to uh, grab a piece of uh, trim and put it on there and see if I couldn't make it work and I purchased these little scissors at Walmart um, they're not the best you certainly can't cut fabric or anything like that but it does great just cutting the thread and that's actually what I need it for so on the back side of the page that I was going to put the scissors with the applique, I decided to put an extra strip of the felt to give it a little bit more um, depth so that I could put needles on those pages, that all the different uh, embroidered, embroidery needles and 
just really stitching needles and on each side of it I thought I need to spruce that up a little bit and I put a real fun little piece of trim down the center of it and a little flower on each side. This trim I ended up thinking okay I'll use that to make pockets on the page as well. So then my camera quit so some of this didn't get to be on the recording but as you can see I had the the basic part of the outside done with the laces and the trims and you see the little pockets that I made out of that trim I just sewed it on there uh, that one was that other little and then at the top you can see I stitched on some more lace around all the edges I liked it and then I put the scissors where the applique however when I do that again I will actually put a piece of cotton or something satin behind it so that it goes in there a little bit easier and this is the one where I wanted to um, be able to put needles and pins down inside there where I have that extra piece of uh, felt works out really nice I'm trying to measure it and see exactly half of the book so that I can stitch it right down the center and here we go so we have the the front page which I've not decorated outside yet. I'm going to do quite a bit more decoration on the outside of the book and I ended up putting two um, two layers of the ribbon. I like that a lot better. So as you can see I ended up okay so I ended up decorating the front of the the little book more. I added appliques and I added a fabric flower that I had made and put a little piece of a doily and some little bitty ribbon roses on the front that had some pearls attached to them. And then I'll take you through the book here, the front page with the little pocket and then the next page I made some little thread holders out of different uh, cardboard and some fancy paper, my little scissors, the, the page that was to hold the pins and the needles and I put some buttons on one of those little bulb pins some more little card decorated cards to put regular threads on or different embroidery thread that I'm going to be using little tape measure pockets some more pins and some more buttons one of the clips and then on the back I used a butterfly applique some few little appliques and there you have it this beautiful little adorable sewing kit needle book and please don't forget to subscribe those of you that are already subscribed thank you so much I love having your comments and I love having you watch the videos and being with you and if you like it give it a thumbs up I really would appreciate that and don't forget I'm going to be making some of these and having them on the Etsy store if you want to purchase one for a loved one for Christmas that would be awesome they're just adorable. They're so cute. <laughs> you have a wonderful day. And may God bless each and every one of you. Thank you so much for sharing in my life. I love it. And make a comment down at the bottom. And uh, tell me what you think about this little book. And I'll talk to you very soon. You have a super good day. And God bless you all. And I'll see all you good people later. Bye-bye.